It's really helpful also to identify a coping activity, coping style in order to develop an individualized plan. Patients either tend to be roller coasters or activity avoiders. And the roller coasters, they get a little bit of energy. They don't know when they're going to have it again. And so they cram as much activity as possible until they crash. And they do this until they get a little bit of energy, go absolutely crazy, and crash and burn again. So this results in symptom flare-up and a fear factor. They know when they overdo, it will result in a flare. But they don't know how to get off the roller coaster. The activity avoider is on the other end of the spectrum. They've learned to avoid activities because they cause all of these symptoms, pain and fatigue and nausea and sore throat. And so they just stay on the couch. Well, that's not optimal either. So it's helpful to, to teach the activity avoider what are safe activities they can engage in. Pacing is the name of the game. In fact, it may be the single most important concept to pass on to your patients. It is an essential skill to help avoid the peaks and valleys of the roller coaster activity coping style. If you can convince your patient to avoid the highs, they will be able to prevent the lows caused by relapse. It is also a very important consideration in the PT, OT, or exercise session to consider these things. Make sure to pace the session with the inclusion of frequent rest breaks. The activity avoider will have to find safe ways to increase their activity level without flare-up. The roller coaster will have to pace activity slowly without overdoing.